Curious George goes to a bookstore. George was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today, George and his friend, the man with the yellow hat, were going to the grand opening of a bookstore in their neighborhood. George's favorite author was going to be signing her latest Penny the Penguin picture book. He had every penny book she'd ever written. He couldn't wait to meet her. But when they arrived at the bookstore, they found a long line that zigzagged between the bookshelves. We'll purchase the book first and then wait in line to get it signed, said his friend. There are a lot of kids who also love Penny the Penguin. The line inched forward and stopped, inched forward and stopped. George climbed onto his friend's shoulders and tried to take a peek at the author but he was small and she was hidden by the crowd. He looked around the bookstore. So many new books. What stories would they hold inside? What funny characters would he meet? Be a good little monkey and don't wander off too far, said the man with the yellow hat, letting George down and picking up a bird watching guide from a nearby shelf. You wouldn't want to miss getting your book signed. George was happily flipping through storybooks when he noticed the wonderful smell of banana bread. It made his stomach rumble. George was curious. Could there be food in a bookstore? Food and drink were never allowed in the library. George decided to find out. As soon as he turned the corner, he discovered glass shelves filled with baked goods instead of books. It was a small cafe. Next to the cabinet, there was a table with a sign advertising free samples. A little girl saw George and tugged on her father's sleeve. Daddy, look, that monkey likes banana bread too. Yes, I suppose monkeys would enjoy banana bread, he responded, still looking at his book. While George was reaching for another sample, and then another, and another, he saw the little girl and her father leave the cafe area. Tucked under the girl's arm was George's favorite dinosaur book. He decided to follow them. They led him past a display of dinosaur books in the science area of the store. The display was as tall as the man with the yellow hat. It was hard to resist for a little monkey who loves to climb. George climbed onto the first tier. With so many books to look at, he wasn't sure where to start. He saw his favorite dinosaur book, but he also saw other books. One picture, one pictured in a potosaurus eating leaves and another showed uh, pterodactyls soaring above waterfalls. He climbed from tier to tier until he reached the top. From above, he noticed a stack of boxes in the corner of the store. The boxes were shaped like presents, but the bows and wrapping paper were missing. What could be inside them? George leaped down and opened the boxes. They each contained a stack of the newest Penny the Penguin picture book. George wondered why were the books in boxes? They should be in a big display like the dinosaur books. But George had an idea. George got to work right away. He balanced the books one by one as if he were building with blocks. People in line marveled at what he was doing, except for the man with the yellow hat who was engrossed in his new bird watching guide. The tower of books grew and grew and grew and so did the crowd's amazement. What a wonderful display, said a woman. Wow, look at what that monkey made, exclaimed a little boy.
stop, shouted a nearby bookseller. You shouldn't have opened those boxes. But George was having too much fun to notice. From on top of the display, George looked down and finally saw the bookseller, the manager, and the man with the yellow hat peering up at him. That monkey opened our, all our boxes for the signing, complained the bookseller. The manager smiled at George. He certainly did, and now we don't have to. I think his tower of books is a masterpiece. The manager asked George if he would like help with the signing. Like to help with the signing, George was delighted. He would finally get to meet his favorite author. George made sure each book was opened to the right page, ready for the author's signature. He thought it was funny that her name was Penny, just like the penguin in her books. As she finished signing the last book, Penny turned to George and smiled. Thank you so much for all of your help today. It was great to have the extra hands and feet. But there's one book I still need to sign. Penny the Penguin and the Polar Bear Cub to my new friend George. Keep reading, Penny. And then she drew a picture of George getting a hug by the penguin. She inscribed the book and handed it to George. Inside was a note saying to my new friend George, keep reading. Oh, he's hugging it. George loved his new book. It was special and one of a kind. He'd have such an adventurous day at the bookstore. He couldn't wait to visit again.